All right, rectangles inscribed in circles is what we're going to talk about. Let's say a rectangle with a length of n is inscribed in a circle of radius 6. So I'm going to draw that picture. I'm going to draw a circle. Inscribed means that figure is within that circle. It touches on all the vertices of the rectangle. And there's the center of it. And if the radius is 6, I've got to be careful. That means it's not from there to the, to the side of the rectangle. It's from the center to the actual vertice of the rectangle. So this length right here is 6. And the rectangle's length is n. So one of the sides is n. The other side we don't know yet. All right. Well, let's break this down a little bit. I'm looking at this figure, and I'm seeing that we're not really given a lot of information, so I need to kind of do a little extra work. So I know this is a right angle because it's a rectangle. It's made up of all right angles. So I know if I extend this out a little bit, that that whole diameter there is going to be 12. So this is 12 for the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So I'm going to make a right triangle out of it. And then the Pythagorean theorem is going to help me from here. So let's set up the Pythagorean theorem right now, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we're going to use different letters here. So we have the n is one of the sides. So it's n squared plus I don't know squared, I'll just say that's a question mark, equals the hypotenuse, which is 12, so 12 squared. So then I have n squared plus something squared equals 144. And then if I want to solve for that something, to find out what this actually is, I subtract n squared to both sides, and I have question mark squared equals 144 minus n squared. And then to find out what that question mark really is, I need to get rid of the squared on it. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and the question mark really equals 144 minus n squared and the square root of that whole thing. So now that question mark is right here. It stands for the square root of 144 minus n squared. So now how do I find the area? That's what the question is asking for, the area of the rectangle in terms of n. Well, I'm just going to do base times height, right? That's what area is. So if area equals base times height for a rectangle, it's just going to be n, which is our base, times the square root of 144 minus n squared. And that's our final answer. Okay, why don't you try this one on your own? All right, go ahead and give it a shot. A rectangle with length n is inscribed in a circle of radius 5. Find the expression of the area of the rectangle in terms of n. Pause the video and try it. And now for the solution. All right, there's the picture, and the diameter is going to be 10. So Pythagorean theorem would be n squared plus something squared. And I could call that a different variable. I just feel like using a question mark. And the c squared is 10 squared. So I have n squared plus something squared equals 100. And to solve for that something, that, that question mark, I need to subtract n squared. And I get question mark squared equals 100 minus n squared. Take the square root of it. And the question mark is just going to equal the square root of 100 minus n squared. And then since I multiply them together, it would be n times that. So it would be n times the square root of 100 minus n squared. And that's our answer.